The third film in the Fantastic Beast series hits cinemas in one week as Potter fans have been waiting four years for this newest entry. But the biggest question is, will this film turn things around for the series? Let's find out in the review. Welcome back film fans, it is Brad from Let's Be Real Brad and today on the channel I want to talk about the brand new film in the wizarding world called Fantastic Beasts The Secrets of Dumbledore. Fantastic Beasts The Secrets of Dumbledore is directed by David Yates and it stars Eddie Redmayne, Jude Law, Ezra Miller, Dan Fogler, Allison Sudol, and Mods Mikkelsen. Set several years after the events of The Crimes of Grindelwald, The Secrets of Dumbledore follows Albus Dumbledore, tasking Newt Scamander and his allies with a mission that takes him into the heart of Dark Wizard Grindelwald's army. So I have to admit to you guys that I was very skeptical going into this film because these Fantastic Beast films have not been my cup of tea. I enjoyed the first one as it was a step in the right direction, but the second installment was the worst wizarding film by far. But now seeing this film, I can say that this is an improvement over the last film. I enjoyed this film so much because it is very straightforward because of its characters and story. One of the aspects I continue to enjoy throughout these films is the performances. Eddie Redmayne is back playing Newt Scamander as he does a fine job with this character. He is very charming and likable with his awkward and quirky personality. Dan Fogler returns as Jacob as he is one of the best characters of this whole series as he is my favorite character. He adds so much personality to this role being a significant highlight. Mods Mikkelsen plays Grindelwald replacing Johnny Depp due to legal issues that I won't get into but Mods did a a very good job. Jula plays Dumbledore and I think he also did a solid job in the role. Unfortunately, I think his character of a young Dumbledore was very underwritten so Jude Law doesn't have much to work with, but he is giving the very best he can for this character. What I also really enjoyed with this film was the magic. It felt more like the traditional Harry Potter films we have grown to love, as it had more creative and fun magical spells that were used, especially especially during a jail scene that happens later on in the film, which was the best part of the whole movie. I also appreciated that this film is much more sillier and more fun than the previous film, which came off as tedious adults doing nothing kind of film, whereas this film feels like the family movie that we have come to expect with these Potter films. I can appreciate that this film has a lot more effort in terms of trying to be lighthearted, which is something that has been lacking for some time now. Not all of it works, but I think I can appreciate the film trying to turn itself around by even adding more Hogwarts references, which I have to admit, did make the film better, even though they're manipulating me to enjoy the nostalgic references, but I can't lie and say that I didn't fall for it. David Yates does a good job at making another competent film as he has been with this franchise since Order of the Phoenix, so he has a significant grasp of this franchise, and I think he proves it again with this one. James Newton, however, returns to the franchise to compose the score, and I think he did another awesome job with it as it heightens all of the action sequences and the magical moments along the way. But let's dive into the many negatives I have with this film, starting with the screenplay. It is easily the most significant issue of this whole series so far. It is not as bad as the previous film, but it still feels like nothing is happening. The third act finale is so anticlimactic that... I was shocked that this is the best they could come up with. I also found this film to be so ridiculously dull. It's slightly more entertaining than the last film, but not by much. The film takes itself way too seriously like in the last couple of Potter films, but fails to have the same emotional impact, so this comes off as a bore to watch. The film features poorly written characters that we don't know or care to know, standing around, talking about things they want or should do without doing any of of it. it is more focused on setting up things for future films instead of worrying about its own third film. I have another major issue with the visual effects as they range from mediocre to straight up terrible. Unfortunately, the whole film looks like it was filmed on a green screen, so everything looks and feels so fake, especially when the characters go back to Hogwarts, which is not a spoiler considering it's 
in the trailer and literally on the poster. Once again, this film fails in showcasing what this series is all about. The Fantastic Beasts. Anytime they were on screen, the film became instantly better because it was much more fun silly and felt like what the wizarding world should be they are the heart and soul of these films but the story's direction heads itself elsewhere so we see less and less of these characters overall fantastic beast the secrets of dumbledore is an improvement over the previous film with a much more precise and conscious vision featuring some very fun magical moments decent performances and more stakes that could be enough to keep fans back on for a fourth film i am giving fantastic beasts the secrets of dumbledore a six out of ten thank you all so much for checking out this review as i want to know below in the comment section how excited are you for this film and when will you be seeing it i can't wait to hear all about it before you check out this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button leave a like if you want to and ring that notification bell so i can see you all in the following video